candidate two, please start. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Christopher Torre, candidate of this exam. I've been asked by my examiners to take a focused history from you. I, I, this will involve me asking you a few questions and I assure you of your privacy and confidentiality. Please, do I have your permission to continue? Yes. May I have your name and your age? My name is Ekria Mensa. I am 34 years old. Please, what do you, what do you do? What work do you do? I'm a trader. Okay. Please, what brought you here today? I've been having these uh, headaches and then I've noticed that my nipples are discharging. For how long, please? I think for the past um, three weeks. Which one came first, the headache or the nipple discharge, please? I can't really see, but I think uh, they all came around the same time. Maybe the headaches. I noticed the headaches. Okay. okay. So this headache, please, how did it begin? Oh, it came gradually. That's what I can see. What part of your head hurts? It's not really... It's inside. I feel it's inside. Okay. And how would you characterize this pain? Is it a pounding pain? Or is it cutting? How does the pain feel, please? I think it's dark. Okay. Does this pain move anywhere? No, please. Are there any other associated symptoms apart from your nipple discharge? Do you experience any um, dizziness, any vision problems? Yes, I have some visual problems. Okay. Do you experience a stiff neck? No. Any eye pain? No. Okay. With this headache, how long does it usually, when it comes, how long does it stay for? Or is it always constant? It's, 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 throughout the day, it's, it's present than not. It's often present does, in the day than not. Does it alleviate at night? Please, I don't, I, I don't understand the meaning of alleviate. I'm a trader, senior. Yo. So does it, does it get better at night? No, I have not, uh, I have not studied it. Okay. Is there anything you do that makes it worse? Yeah, some, sometimes when uh, when I am using the washroom, when I'm when I'm passing to yes, when I'm passing to, and sometimes when I cough to, I feel the 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 the, the pain gets worse. Is there anything that makes it better? I've not taken note of anything. On a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is the least painful and 10 is the most painful headache you've ever felt, how would you grade this? Mm, I'll give it 8 over 10. Okay. And concerning this nipple discharge, can you tell me about the color? It's like breast milk. Okay. Do you find any blood in it? No, please. Do you have any chest pain? No, please. Any pain in your breast? No, please. Have you recently traveled to the north or traveled to a hot climate? No, please. Do you experience any um, co co any cold flu symptoms such as a runny nose? No, please. Are you currently... Do you experience this headache? Does it get worse when you're on your period? I wouldn't say. Have you noticed any association with your period concerning this headache and the nipple discharge? I don't understand. Is there any? Okay, please I'll move on. Are you experiencing any rashes? No. Okay. Have you recently lost any appetite for food? Mm, a bit. Okay. Have you experienced any weight loss? No. Have you experienced any... Do you, at rest, do you feel your heart beating very fast? No. 
Do you experience breathlessness when you lie down? No. Do you experience trouble breathing when you breathe? Do you make a noise when you breathe? No. Do you experience any diarrhea? No, please. Any abdominal pain? No, please. Any joint pain? No, please. Are you aware of any chronic medical conditions you may be suffering from? No, please. Such as? Okay. When was the last time you were admitted to the hospital? No, there's none like that. Okay. Have you recently had any surgeries? No, please. Have you had any blood transfusions? No, please. Are you currently on any medication? Nah. Do you have any allergies you are aware of? No, please. Are you currently taking any herbal medication? No, please. Do you have any chronic illnesses in your family? No, please. Please, where do you stay? Nyamiche. Dakuma Nyamiche. Please do consume alcohol. No, please. Do you smoke? I smoke firewood. Firewood. Do you mean this when you are cooking or you actually Stop smoke? asking it? whether I smoke. Be specific. Uh, please, do you smoke cigarettes? No. Do you smoke marijuana? No. Okay. Please, when was the last time you had your menses? You see, <clears throat> my message is You're very, not... very, very irregular. Okay, very irregular. Um, yes, time up. Present your case. I present Mrs. Ekua Mensa, 34-year-old trader who presented with headache and nipple discharge of three weeks duration. The headache was reported to be inside the, felt inside the head. It was gradual and dull and associated with visual disturbances. She said the headache was present throughout the day and was worse when she goes to the washroom to relieve herself. She graded it at 8 over 10. The nipple discharge was the color of breast milk with no blood and no associated chest pain. She reports a loss of appetite and, yes, and uh, reports her menses to be irregular. Thank you. I think that was a very excellent history. Please give me a hand. I want to hear it. Give him a hand. I want to hear it. Okay. So, um, Chris, diagnosis. <laughs> Please, I, I'm wearing a prolactinoma. A prolactinoma. Okay. All right. What in your history suggested a prolactinoma? The presence of a headache and the nipple discharge. What else? She also reports an irregular menstrual cycle. What else? Uh, the nipple discharge being the appearance of breast milk. What else? And the headache throughout the day. What about the headache suggested the platinoma? The sight of the headache being internal. What else? And it's being present throughout the day and being worse when she coughs or goes to the washroom to relieve what herself. What explains why the headache is worse when she coughs or when she is defecating? This is because of an increased intracranial pressure, please. All right, good. So, um, how would you investigate this patient? I request a non-contrast, a head CT scan. What else I would you also, do? I would also take blood samples to, uh, for serology such as the serum FSH and serum LH. Sure. You are telling Sorry. me that hey. the patient has platinoma and you are doing FSH LH. What What are they? No. Are they not going to drop in? So, no, uh, our serum prolactin. So after yeah. you me after you mentioned the serum prolactin, then you can add your others. Okay, that is fine. Apart from the head CT scan, what can you do? Well, let me see. Imaging-wise. Instead of the head CT scan, 
what what sensitive uh, imaging would you do? An MRI. The MRI is more sensitive. Okay. All right. Um, what explains her visual disturbances? The prolactinoma increasing size of it may compress on the optic nerves or the optic yes what? the optic optic op optic op what <laughs> optic nerves optic what optic which vascular which structure, supply. which structure in the optic pathway is closer to the um the pituitary gland located optic. in the cella testicular optic chasm optic chasm okay so optic what chasm. what 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 form of a uh, visual impairment would she have tunnel vision yes, how is that tunnel vision. tunnel vision so now you are answering for chris are you a sister yes please no, no. I thought Chris. it was a general question. No, it's, it, it is for the candidates. Chris. Yes, Doc. What is, she has given you the uh, lay, layman's term for the visual defect, the visual field defect. What visual field defect is um, described as tunnel vision? Doc, please, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm Asuma. not, I don't know it. Asuma. Yes. Yes. By temporal hemianopsia. By temporal hemianopsia. All right, that is fine. If she came with double vision, what could explain that, Chris? If, if she, she came, came with diplopia, what could explain that? Look, please, I'm not too sure. Any ideas, Nasuma? Why would the patient, or why can the patient have double vision or diplopia? Um, look, I'm thinking if it's if. It's compressing on the uh, optic nerve. If it's compressing on which nerve again? The optic nerve. Once I keep saying it, it means that it, it is not true. Oh, which nerve? Um, 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 I'm not sure. Go ahead. Nasma, go ahead. The optic tract. And you brought yourself. Oklomoto. Oklomoto, or most likely the abducent nerve. Because remember that the cavernous sinus is on each side of the cellular testicle. And which nerve runs through the cavernous sinus? Cranial nerve 6. Yes. Um, Chris, yes, what would you do for this patient? I will. Don't come and tell me that it's an emergency. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will put this patient on. I will prepare this patient for surgical exploration to relieve the product. <laughs> Stop what you are telling me. What you you prepare the patient for surgical intervention when you are writing internal medicine. Agbilikotoku. Oh. Ebrokotoku. Hmm. You probably give the patient a dopamine dopa analog to relieve dopaminergic, the, the dopaminergic, exactly. What drugs would you give? Give me two. Dopaminergic analog. Dopaminergic um, egonus, yeah. Hmm. Why would level, you want to give level, you know, level dopa? The penanose level dopa. No, what 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 uh, why would you want to give um, um, dopaminergic um, agonists? What is the physiology because behind the, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the posterior? Is it posterior? Yes, the posterior pituitary, I believe. Uh -huh. And uh, you, you believe what? No, anterior pituitary. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Um, look, the physiology is, 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 is weak. It's weak. They, they share. Uh, they, uh, when the foundation is weak, yeah, the exchange not... rate, the almost like, when the foundation is weak <laughs> again, the exchange rate will expose you. Yes. Uh huh. 
and it that is, for it is because it is because what prolactin, uh-huh, they prolactin are, is what the English hormone for prolactin is dopamine exactly because dopamine yeah. inhibits the release of prolactin and so you want to give something which heightens the action of dopamine so that you can what block the prolactin release then the nipple discharge would come down a bit now i'm asking give me two medications that can be used as dopaminergic agonists uh, mm-hmm. bromocryptin and did you google Kabe- no bromocryptin is the one i remember yes could you say okay no please no I know the principle you are, you are using, but in, in internal medicine, please, these two, okay, now, no, these two, okay. Okay. Habergolin. Who actually believes that this is a very likely question? What I want to know? Hmm. All right. Um, yes. What do you think can be surgically done for this patient? You surgical reduction of the prolactinoma via what route? Transphenoidal. Transcranial. Transphenoidal. Oh, trans- okay. Excellent. Yeah. That is fine. Um, let me end this.